From the outside, Yemeni House stands out among many restaurants on the Al Kanana Street. It looks like a fortress on a hill in the middle of the road. The architecture is supposed to resemble traditional Yemeni architecture. The thick white walls made of sun dried mud, multicolored stained glass windows, both of them aim to highlight Yemeni architecture. When you step in, the interior is a fusion of modern and traditional features. The marble floor is definitely not something that is unique to this restaurant. What makes it uniquely Yemeni are the glazed windows, known as kamaria, to surround the walls of the restaurant. In Yemen, many people sit on the floor while eating with their family and friends. Some believe that eating on the floor is closer to the dining practice of Prophet Muhammad's times. Usually, the food is placed in the middle of the rug and people sit around the rug enjoying both their time and food together. Throughout the restaurant, you can also see decors like Yemeni daggers and Arabian lamp on the ceilings that add onto the ambience. I met with Ayman, the manager of Yemeni House, to hear about how he started a Yemeni House. My name is Ayman. Uh, I am manager for a uh, restaurant, Yemeni House restaurant. Uh, I'm Palestinian. Uh, we uh, were uh, thinking to open a restaurant, but some new style in Qatar or new dish. It was uh, less uh, Yemeni restaurants here. Decided to open Yemeni restaurant okay. and uh, we just study what dishes uh, it will be uh, in demand in this re uh, dishes. We found uh, most of uh, people they like Hanid, Mendi, some oh, Fahsa, okay. uh, the bread of Yemeni. Okay. I have a friend, Yemeni, long time. We are uh, friends. We decided to open together. Okay. Uh, and we started on uh, 2014. It was uh, a good start. Ayman employs five chefs, all from Yemen. Qatar allows only five visas to be granted to Yemeni citizens for Ayman. So sometimes he recruits Yemeni chefs who have been working abroad with a foreign citizenship. The Yemeni chef we met today was working originally in Ecuador, but now he is in Doha working at the Yemeni house. The baker is also Yemeni. They bake the traditional Yemeni flatbread in a vertical brick oven. What the baker did with the flattened dough is to stick it inside the oven and let it cook for a minute until it becomes all crispy and ready to be eaten. Although the restaurant only opens from 11.30 a.m. around lunchtime, the chef comes to work early in the morning. He then pre-cooks many of the popular dishes for the rest of the day. The food is stored and preserved safely. Some other dishes, however, require live cooking. After hearing Ayman describe the dishes here, I can safely say the Yemeni house tries to promote slow food. It adheres to the local way of cooking the food, and dishes like Hanith takes a very long time to prepare. It takes a long time preparing from night till morning, uh, morning uh, to be ready for cooking. Uh, this is the famous one we have here, and it is the uh, uh, best seller. This one is one of the best seller also, okay. chicken. This is called chicken uh, mugby, okay. grilled chicken with the mandy rice, also different spices than other uh, chicken meal. The Yemeni house has so many dishes that it is impossible to show them all. Most dishes are meat-based, and the staple meats in Yemeni food are chicken and goat. According to Ayman, goat meat is the most popular and some customers even call it the meat of God. My favorite dish was mugalgal. It is made of chopped lamb meat. Mugalgal is famous in the rest of GCC, and here at the Yemeni house, many Qatari customers order it. The lamb meat is stir-fried with fresh tomatoes, onions, and green peppers, and it is eaten with the Yemeni bread. Oh wait, let me tell you a little bit more about the bread. As an East Asian who lived my whole life eating rice, I, I never realized how diverse the category of bread is until I came to the Middle East. My definition of bread was the French baguette or sweet pastry. But living here, I came to love eating bread. Bread is a staple. In fact, many Egyptians call bread Aish, which means life, because bread has been an essential staple for this region that did not get to enjoy an abundance of rice, maize, and potatoes. So yes, bread is life, especially Yemeni bread. Look at how humongous this is. 
Ayman shared other dishes with me, like fahsa and goat liver. Fahsa was served in a traditional stone bowl that helps retain heat. Goat liver, which I was initially a bit nervous about, turned out to be incredibly rich in its taste. They both pair well with the bread. Ayman said that these three dishes sell out the fastest every day, and his personal go-to is a goat liver. As we were sharing our meal together, we had a little chat about Ayman's time in Doha. Ayman has been in Doha since he was a child. This is apparently how Doha looked like when he first came here. Yeah. This is a clock tower. Frog still up there. Yeah. But see the sea until where it comes. It's yeah. now far, but there it's very very close. Mm. There is no street. There is no uh, right. Uh, no corniche. Mm -mm. When he first opened the Yemeni house, he had to self-learn Yemeni food and the restaurant business on his own. Before I, I had no uh, idea about uh, Yemeni food. Before opening the restaurant. Before opening the restaurant. Okay. Then my partner told me, uh, here there's no maybe one or two restaurants, not that much uh, famous or uh, good work mm -hmm. dishes. We decided to go to Dubai. Mm -hmm. Visit the uh, Yemeni restaurants. Mm -hmm. There is so many restaurants there, big mm -hmm. restaurant, uh, very famous there. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of dishes. Okay. We go maybe through eight restaurants. Okay. We try food there. Try food, yeah. Yeah, I like the food there. <coughs> then I agree to uh, be a partner with him. Mm -hmm. and and I start to learn about because I have no idea about uh, uh, Yemeni food. I start learning what is this, what is this, what is this. Mm. Yeah, it takes time, mm -hmm. but finally I know everything. While it might have taken some time for Ayman to get to learn about Yemeni food, he has now been running the restaurant for seven years and is planning to open new branches elsewhere in Doha. But at the end of the day, the first branch in Al Saad will remain special in the hearts of many who may have wanted Yemeni food at a time when it wasn't available in Doha. And for someone like me, and even Ayman, who were completely unfamiliar to the Yemeni cuisine before. The Yemeni house has introduced a taste of Yemen to me.